Hi, my name is Moira Tran and I'm a top shelf financial model analyst. Today we will be talking about project management fees. So whenever you're modeling some sort of real estate project such as multifamily or hotel maybe, there are many expenses that one must consider and one of the most common expense items included in the model are project management fees. So first I'm going to be explaining what project management fees are and then I am going to go ahead and show you how to calculate them in the model. So a project management fee or project management fees are an elected fee that can be paid towards a number of people including the developer or the capital equity provider. This fee is not included in the net operating income or NOI of a model and should be included below the line. The project management fee should not be confused with the management fee which is a fee that goes to the project management company and is included. The project management fee would be applied only if maybe the project charges an above market management fee. So in this case, one would include the normal management fee in the NOI and include the excess percentage below the NOI as not to affect the gross sales proceeds. So if the project is charging a 5% management fee, one would typically input a typical management fee of say about 3% that would be included in the NOI and then the remainder 2% is a project management fee outside of the NOI. So although project management fees are elected fees, it's important to consider whether or not your financial model should contain them. You should read the developer contracts or even the capital equity contributor contracts to determine if there are project management fees that should be paid to either partner. Um, if a model does not contain project management fees, the cash flows could be overstated, affecting the returns if you do choose to include them. So there are two primary ways to calculate project management fees and one method is a monthly applied fee method and the other is a percentage of revenue method. So the monthly applied fee is a fixed fee amount that is employed monthly. The project management fee is a predetermined amount that will be paid each month and is typically subject to some sort of inflation as time increases. So typically in an underwriting scenario, one would have a monthly input where you can just enter the monthly project management fee. So say every month it's about $250. So you'd have it flow through the cash flow every month as $250. And then when operations begin, the project management fee is applied on that month-to-month -month basis. And the other way is the percentage of revenue method. And I will go ahead and show you that here in the model. This is our multifamily top shelf, um, top shelf multifamily development model here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the assumptions tab. And I'll zoom in here. So you can see that we have the management fee here in cell F13, or over here the input is in H13, and then you have the project management and project management fee input here in cell H14. So because in this case the project includes over the typical management fee, you'd put the typical management fee in here as 3%, and then the excess would roll over into the project management fee, which is below the line as 1%. So I'll go ahead and go to the monthly cash flows and kind of show you how this works. So I'll zoom in here. So you can see that we have the management fee of 3% that flows and is included in the NOI. And below that, we've got the project management fee that is included outside of the NOI. So basically, all it does is it takes that effective gross income, the sum of the effective gross income for that month, and then it multiplies it by assumptions H14. You go here, H14 is a project management fee. So every month we are just multiplying that EGI by 1% and then obviously you have to kind of make it a negative because it's an expense item. And that is how you calculate project management fees. So if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. But thank you for listening to this video. Have a great day.